and thanks to this assembly and assembly of M60 Marcos. But before proceeding to the disassembly and assembly, let me discuss first a brief history about the M16 rifle. So the M16 rifle is an officially designated rifle, a caliber 5.56 millimeter. So the M16 rifle is a United States military version of the AR-15. It was and it was designed by American engineer Eugene Morrison Stoner, the man most associated with the design of the M16. And it is widely adopted by other militaries around the world, including the armed forces of the Philippines. So the M16 has five characteristics. First, it is magazine fed. Second, it is gas operated. Third, it is a shoulder weapon. Fourth, it is air cooled. And last fifth, it is a semi or automatic fire. So let's proceed to the disassembly. Before proceeding to the disassembly, first thing to do is to clear the rifle. So to clear the rifle, put the rifle on a flat surface or in a table by putting the muzzle on the upper position. So the rifle, lock, and look inside the chamber if the weapon is there. So clock three times. After checking the rifle, it is closed. Lay down the rifle on the table and push to the takedown screen and the fighting screen. Until the shot assembly, until the upper receiver is free from the lower receiver group. So this is the lower receiver and the upper receiver. First, yes, the lower receiver. The parts of the lower receiver group are the pistol grip, trigger guard, trigger, selector lever, rubber recoil pad, lower spring level, and stock. So disassemble the lower receiver group. Push the bunker to remove it from the receiver. So this is the buffer in the buffer spring guide. Next is the upper receiver. The parts of the upper receiver group are the flash suppressor, front sight, violet stud, upper sling swivel, hand guard, carrying handle, slip ring, and charging handle. So let's assemble the upper receiver group. First is Pressing in the charging handle to remove the charging handle to the bolt carrier. So this is the charging handle and the bolt carrier. To disassemble the bolt carrier group, first is to remove the retaining pin. This is the retaining pin. Next is the firing pin. This is the firing pin. And the cam pin. To remove the cam pin, push the bolt and twist. This is the cam pin and the bolt. So the parts of the bolt carrier, the bolt carrier, firing pin, retaining pin, cam pin, and the bolt. After the disassemble, Let's proceed to the assemble. Remember that the last thing you remove is the first thing to assemble. So first to assemble is the bolt carrier. To assemble the bolt carrier, first is to put the bolt inside the bolt carrier. And then the cam pin. Next is the firing pin to put inside the bolt carrier. To assemble the upper receiver group, put the charging handle inside the receiver and the bolt carrier. To assemble, push the charging handle and the bolt carrier together until the sub-assembly is fully seated. Next is the lower receiver group. To assemble the lower receiver group, first is to push, put the buffer inside the buffer spring guide and put them together inside the lower receiver group.
Messes. Put the upper receiver and the lower receiver group together. And push the takedown pin in the five foot pin until the assembly is fully seated. Then next is check the rifle if it is unloaded. Cup. Then check the selector level, assembly, position, then fire. Then back to the safe position. 